Hey guys, how are you? Hey guys, Carmen Mohan here. Uh, you know, lounging in my home, not doing much. Um, actually just putting some work together. So I wanted to take a few minutes and um, give you guys some of my tips and strategies for how I make the most out of my productive weeks. So, starts with a planner. Purchased one on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks, which is really expensive for a planner. Um, but the reason why I spent the extra money is because my planner um, has all this inspirational messages. Um, they give you a month and then this, um, the detailed days for you to schedule your days. They also have task priorities. Um, priority number one, secondary, other. Um, they also have an idea board for you. They also have something that's called creative coloring. It looks like this. Uh, creative coloring is supposed to sharpen your focus skills because there are very little lines that you need to color in and focus. So it's um, somewhat of a strategy that's used to help sharpen your mind. Um, so yes, that's pretty much it for the planner. So now let's get down to it. How I try to make the best and most productive out of my week is that I kind of plan out my month uh, prior to the month coming in. So what does that mean, right? So now today is um, Memorial Day actually, it's a holiday, yes, and I'm working. Minimal work, but still working. Um, and it's Monday, so I know that my week is probably going to start tomorrow. Um, I had already a couple things planned that I had to get done today, already did them. Um, now, my week is going to start tomorrow, it's a little bit different, but it's still the same strategy. Uh, right now, I'm putting together my appointments and my schedules for the month of June. I'm not sure if you guys went and logged on to my Instagram, which is at Miss Carmen Mohan, M-S-C-A-R-M-E-N-M-O-H-A-N. So it's at Miss Carmen Mohan. Um, I did put up a post and saying that, you know, everyone could keep the parties this Memorial Day weekend. I would be home strategizing my goals. Now, this is how we become intentional on our goals is to truly build strategies. So what I do is plan out the month. So this particular month, I did something a little different. Um, I have a couple big goals for the summer. So what I did was is I gave myself a budget on how much money to spend each week for the month of June, how much money I need to allocate for my personal bills, how much money I need to al allocate for the business bills, and then how much money is there left over that I am allowed to spend. I don't, I want to spend very minimal in the month of June, July, and August only because of my, my goals require a lot of capital. So I want to make sure that when it comes time to shell out this amount of capital that I'm not worried or stressed or scrounging and try to put it together. So now the best thing that you can do is be a planner. And honestly, my, one of my biggest struggles, especially coming from the nightlife and coming from dancing and coming from hustling on the streets, I've never learned schedules. So that's why I want to give you guys my tips so that you understand and you can maybe, you know, um, get over that little bit of learning curve on how to structure yourself. So I start out with planning for the month. If I have a couple of events I want to go to that month, I'll already jot them down in the calendar. I come up with a budget for that month, this month. I came up with a, uh, this summer, I came up with a budget for the particular month, how much I wanted to spend, how much I need to spend in bills, personal and business, and then how much I had to spend after that. That was my step one. My step two was after knowing how much money I want to spend every day, pretty much of the week and every week of the month, I wanted to build myself a very uh, strong structured schedule. I think that if I keep myself busy, that I can, I can kind of complete my goals quicker and that's always worked for me. I'm the type of person when my back is against the wall and I have like the last a little bit of time left, I do everything like this, boop, 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 but that's because my back is against the wall. So now I kind of took that same strategy and built it into myself because I know how I am as an individual. Now, so what I did was I structured, I, uh, I planned out my schedules very busy. Um, they start at, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I want to, I have some health goals I'm trying to meet. So I had uh, dedicated an hour, hour and a half to my health goals in the morning. 
uh, four days a week, Monday through Thursday. Also scheduled myself to be getting into the office early. I also scheduled my hourly routine. As you guys know, I'm working on multiple companies. I have I own multiple companies and I'm working on multiple ventures. So what I did was, for instance, acquiring some property. For instance, I have a credit repair company. For instance, I am currently putting a real estate brokerage in my office. What I did was allocate a specific amount of time slots for specific goals. For instance, I get to the office, my plan is to get to the office between 8 and 9 a.m. It says 8 a.m., but I know I may be running a little late, but I did schedule appropriate amount of time to reach each one of my tasks for the day. I scheduled a two to three hour gap per company or per project, it gets, which allows me to get two to three hours to work on every task. Now, if I copy that and I, you know, this week starts on Tuesday because it's a different week, but if I copy that same strategy and do that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, by the end of the goal, by the end of the week, I'll be able to have met my weekly goals. If not have met them, been able to complete some progress towards those goals. Now, if you take this strategy and multiply it, you'll see the difference in not only your daily work ethic, you'll see a difference in how closer you are to actually reaching your goals. Again, these are just things that help me and work for me and have been working for me, but I've also built some successful companies, so I'd like to think that my opinion is a little bit valid. <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, guys, if you want to be intentional about something you're trying to put together or a new business move you're trying to do or you want to become an entrepreneur, you definitely have to allocate some time to research. You have to allocate some time to work. You can't just be freestyling every day and think that's going to work. No, if you detailly, if you if you write out your plans in detail and then you have your plan, you have your goals, then you have your plan of action for those goals. So if I know I want to get this done, I know I have to do A, B, and C to get this done. So you want to definitely write that out and you want to schedule yourself. You want to schedule your month. You want to schedule your week very detailed, your week's detailed time slots from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. I'm doing this from 10 from uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'm doing this from 12 to 12:45, 1 o'clock. I'm going to take a lunch break. I'm going to allocate that time for that break because I know when I come back at 1, I know exactly what I should be working on between 1 and 2 or between 1 and 3. So it works for me and I know it will work for you guys. So try it, test it out, leave me a comment here, leave me a comment on my Instagram at Miss Carmen Mohan, leave me a comment on my Facebook, let me know if it works for you. Thanks guys.